I never thought that my fishing career would take me to the site of the worst nuclear accident in history, the atomic reactor at Chernobyl in Ukraine. And I was fishing on the cooling pond right in sight of the reactor. What this meant was that there was extreme time pressure. Now, there is a limit of radiation that's been set by safety experts, and I just must not exceed that. So I was wearing one of these. That's going to be sent away afterwards to see what my exposure was. More importantly, I was also wearing this, and this was telling me in real time how quickly I was approaching that limit. And also, there was an alarm built in, which meant that if I was to stray too close to any of the radiation hotspots, which are scattered about the site, it would go off. I was wearing this even on the bank, because the last thing I want is something actually pulling me into the water and potentially down towards the radioactive sludge. It turned out that the fish I was after was a Wells catfish. Now, normally, the way I'd fish for Wells would be with a static bait. Just put it out there and sit and wait. Now, my guide, Vlad, went off to try and catch some small fish. And huge surprise, in no time at all, he hooked a Wells catfish. It got away, unfortunately, because of the light tackle. But he was using a soft plastic lure. Now, these are great. You just keep them in your box, and they're ready to go. So I, I just thought, right, what I've got to do is the same as he's doing, except on heavier gear. The only snag then was that there were, in fact, other fish down there as well. There were Xander, pike perch. How do I get through them to give the catfish a chance? I switched to the same kind of thing, but in a much duller color. Unlike the Xander, which are sight predators, catfish tend to rely more on vibration to locate their prey. So a complete switch from the approach that I was originally planning to use. Until this fish is analyzed by Dimitri, I've no idea how radioactive it is and what risk it poses to me. So this is it. This is the Somme. Long, dark, tapering body shape, the wide head, slimy skin, tentacles, teeth a bit like a, a worn down brush. Yeah, absolutely positive ID. 